So Robert is asking, as a child of God, as an adult, do I still have a childhood? Well, Robert, that is a really good question. Um, I know that's something I kind of thought about as far as, you know, when I became a Christian and I was like, well, you know, I'm not a kid. <laughs> I mean, I was a teenager when I um, was first converted to the Lord fully. And, um, you know, I, I was like, well, it says I'm a child now. Um, but I do think you have a spiritual childhood. I think it's very different. You still have, of course, the childhood you grew up with that still counts as your you know, physical childhood, but your spiritual childhood is something different. And I want to kind of show that really quick in the Bible. If you'll go with me to book, the book of First Peter chapter 2, and we'll just look at that really quick. First Peter chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. So let me go ahead. Sorry, my arrangement's a little bit different today. So 1 Peter 2, 1 and 2 says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and guile, oh, okay, <laughs> laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking. So he's saying like, get rid of all this. This is basics. This is Christianity 101, 1 Peter 2, 1. And in verse 2, it says, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you might grow thereby. And so this sincere milk of the word is just basically, um, you know, the gospel that's been preached to you and, you know, and which is, you know, God loves you, you know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, you know, just kind of the first fruits of your first steps of your Christian walk, like it's saying here, um, you know, is very simple. Refuse the evil and choose the good. Like it says in Isaiah 7, 16, God is just saying, you know, there's the wrong things in your life, start putting those sins away. And by God's grace, you know, start choosing the right way. And that's really like the simple, you know, um, milk, as you would say, of the word is, you know, God loves you, you're saved, let's start putting away sins. And so, you know, that's desiring the, you know, the first steps of your Christian walk. But then um, there's a few other verses that kind of go along with this, which is kind of interesting. So if you go now to 1 Corinthians 3, 1 through 3, um, it's kind of an interesting connection to this as well. It's still speaking of that milk of the word. So 1 Corinthians 3, 1 through 3, and again, he's talking about you as being a babe, like a baby in your Christian walk. So it's still part of your childhood as far as your spiritual new birth that Jesus talks about in John chapter 3 because we must be born again. And so 1 Corinthians 3, 1 through 3 says, And I, brethren, uh, could not speak to you as spiritual, but as to carnal. So basically he's saying, you know, you're not acting spiritual yet. You're still acting like your old self, um, you know, before you were born again, as to babes in Christ. So people who are new to the faith. And in verse 2, he says, I have fed you with milk. So just kind of simple things to understand, spiritual, simple spiritual things. Um, and not with meat, you know, with something more difficult for you were not able to receive it. And even now you're still not able. So basically he's saying, Hey, you're still in your infant hood in your spiritual walk. And when you're in your infant hood, in your spiritual walk, you're not ready for, you know, big spiritual truths, you know, difficult things. Like when you're first coming to know the Lord, you know, it's kind of, you need to learn those basic things, which is, you know, God loves you. We need to put away sin. We need to follow after Christ. Um, you know, we need to start forgiving people and, you know, showing the love of God. Those are the basics. Those are fundamental to Christianity. Um, and then as you grow in grace, you know, then you can start have handling other more you know, difficult things. Um, and, and it's only when you have like those fundamentals in place, when your heart is in the right place with God, um, then you're able to you know, understand more complicated spiritual things, because he's even saying here in verse three of first Corinthians three, he says, for you are yet carnal, you're still acting, you know, like a, <laughs> a carnal person, a person that's not been fully saved. He says, for where there are envy, strife and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? So basically, um, Paul is saying, you know, if you are going to be a Christian, you need to First, get your heart right with God and heart right with other people, because you're not going to be able to have a strong spiritual walk if you don't have the basics in place, which is to love God and to love fellow man. Those are the two greatest commandments. And so um, just one last verse I want to show you or set of verses is in the book of Hebrews. And he's talking about 
growing, um, you know, in your walk with Christ and being able to handle that, you know, that meat, that stronger food as you grow in the Lord. And if you look at Hebrews 5, verses 12 through 14, we'll close with this. Um, this is kind of just a quick, uh, whoops, excuse me. I misspelled it into the, <laughs> excuse me, into the search engine. Uh, Hebrews chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. It says, for when, uh, for the time, or for through this, by this time, for though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. So again, these are people that should have been growing up in their Christian walk, but they really weren't growing as they should. They should have been teachers by this point, but because they weren't, they were having to kind of regress spiritually in their spiritual growth. Um they should have reached spiritual adulthood by this point, but they hadn't because they hadn't just, again, gotten those first um, foundational things quite right. And in verse 13, it says, for everyone that uses milk, again, those simple things are unskilled in the words of righteousness, for he is a babe, again, um, you know, a young, early Christian. But again, verse 14, but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. When we're no longer children, when we have reached spiritual adulthood, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So basically, when you become a spiritual adult, um, you are able to discern good and evil. Good and evil, and that really and truly is so important as a Christian, um, because you know when we first come to God, a lot of times people don't really know the difference between what is truly right and what is truly wrong. We need to, um, you know, have Christ in us and have Him you know, show us these truths, you know, oh, like a lot of people grew up, you know, thinking stealing was not a big deal. Like God has to show, you know, no, stealing is one of the Ten commandments. It's a, a basic principle and we need to put away this kind of sin. Um, you know, same thing with lying, same thing with any other type of sin. We need to get those things right. And we have to learn to obey God's word out of a love for God because he first loved us. And when we love God, we will obey him. And when we love God, we can then love our fellow man. And we won't sin against him either. Um, so I hope that helps you as far as understanding that, yes, you still have a spiritual, you still have a physical childhood that still is part of your life. But there is a very real spiritual childhood as well, where you're learning to grow in grace. You're learning to grow in the knowledge of God. And as you do, you'll be able to one day be a discerner of, of truth and to study God's word and not just learn it for yourself, but be able to teach it to others, because that is ultimately the goal of the Christian walk is to share the love and knowledge of God with the world around you. So I pray that you are blessed and I pray that you grow in God's grace. Mm -hmm.